Welcome everyone to the BOM Meditation Group. It's Friday at 11 a.m. Pacific Time, 2 p.m. Eastern. And our meditation today is focused on principle five. Keeping the focus on ourselves and off our loved ones will help us both. So how do we bring about the shift from focus on the other to the focus on ourselves? Um, in order to do that, we're going to need to work on our own personal self-esteem today. So we're going to do a meditation for self-esteem. I'm Celeste Mendelssohn, and I'll be guiding the meditation. I'm a bomb coach and a family member with loved ones with use disorders. Um, and I've been also been a member of the Al-Anon Fellowship for almost 24 years. I will be 24 years on the 15th. I don't think I'm going to ruin that right now. Um, Anyway, so I'm also a yoga therapist and I use yoga therapy, breath and movement um, and meditation to help people heal emotional as well as physical disease and trauma of the mind, body and spirit. So I often relate to physical and emotional sensations in a very similar way. Um, and I'll say that self-esteem has, has been a challenge for me. Um, so this meditation comes a lot from my own struggle to see myself for who I really am. I grew up in an alcoholic home and kind words and praise were often in kind of short supply. Um, and as an adult, I carried the same esteem issues that I had as a child going forward. Um, not really taking compliments in at all when I would get them and feeling the weight of any criticism real or not as though it were an indictment of my character. Um, and this had much more to do with how I perceived the world than it did about who I really was. And part of the problem was that I didn't really know myself. And I think that's true of many of us. We, uh, we have a tendency not to have clear vision when it comes to our own, uh, our own part in things and our own um, way in the world. So um, we need to be able to shift our perspective, our perception, and see things differently. Um, and part of the problem was um, that I had no measure uh, for what I perceived as critical, only a deep fear that I didn't really measure up. I didn't know what that looked like, but I didn't feel like I, I was enough. And I always tried really hard to be even more than enough so that, that people would like me. Um, so in this meditation, we're going to open up to our authentic selves and let go of some of the old self-destructive thoughts, reinforcing the strength of our own truth. And so let's begin this practice today by making sure that we're really comfortable where we are. If we're sitting in a chair or on, on the couch or on the floor um, or lying down wherever and however you feel uh, comfortable using pillows, or blankets, or whatever else you feel um, would help you right now um, to, to relax. And as a teacher of mine often says, remember to feather your nest. So, you know, settle in, settle in and be really, really at ease in the position that you're in. And when you find that comfortable space, you settled in, just know that you know, as you, as you sit in any position for any length of time, even sometimes if you lie down in certain positions for any length of time, you'll start to notice things about the position or places where your clothes are bunched up underneath you. And if you find that that's true, just see if you can make any changes in that to give yourself, um, to give yourself a little bit more physical comfort. And then when you're ready to go ahead and close your eyes, and find your own breath, your own rhythm for just a few moments. Noticing the sensation of breath as it flows into the nose, cool as it touches the outer edges of your nostrils, and feel into the breath as it moves down into the throat, Noticing the sensations also in your chest and your belly as the lungs fill with air. 
And hold this breath in for a few moments. And then let that breath go, sighing it out, releasing all the air from inside as you also visualize the tension and the stress releasing from your mind and your body. And inhale again and sigh the breath out. Let it go. And just for a moment, think about some of the negative things that you have a tendency to say to yourself, whether today or on other days, it doesn't matter. Just what hurtful words have you allowed to color your perception of you? You may think that those words don't matter. After all, you aren't saying them where others can hear them. And you aren't saying bad things about someone else. But the things that we tell ourselves about who we are actually matter even more than what others say to us in terms of how we feel about ourselves. So managing that internal dialogue is very important and it's a step for developing healthy self-esteem. I remember I had been um, in the Al-Anon program for about five years at one point and I was getting into my car to go do something. I don't remember what it was that I forgot in the house, but I think I forgot something. And the first words out of my mouth were, oh, you stupid idiot. And I thought, and then I had the second thought, which was, oh, what did I just say? You know, what did I just say to myself? What, what was that? And I recognized that that was the old script, right? And so I owed myself an amends at that point. So be aware of those things that you say. And if you know of a couple of them, just bring them in to your mind um, for a moment, that negative thought, and then replace that word or that phrase with a version of it that's positive. And I know that sounds weird, but let me give you an example. So, because this was one of mine. Instead of saying I'm an over-controlling micromanager, which some people might have said, um, I want to say I am detail-oriented and that I strive to do my best, which is also very true. Um, there are two sides of the same character trait. It's like how I use them is what, is what makes the difference. So find the positive that is a part of the character trait you are identifying as a defect. Because our character traits are neither good nor bad. It's just about how we use them. And that determines whether the effects are positive or negative. And we can shift that. And this is part of that process. So when you found that phrase that reflects the affirmation that you wish to work with today, repeat it to yourself. And let it flow around you, echoing through your mind. And allow your eyes to gently close. And if that's not comfortable for you, you could also let them just be kind of at half mast and soft. And just breathing in and breathing out, continuing to repeat that affirmation to yourself as you follow the rhythm of your breath. Feeling the breath moving in, noticing the breath as it moves out, hearing your words in your mind, allow those thoughts to echo within your thoughts, allow them to settle in into your chest, into your belly, positive affirmation. Let it be, let it, let it fill you. Let it become a comfortable awareness about yourself. Repeating that affirmation to yourself. Following the rhythm of your own natural breath. Letting your affirmation echo through your mind. 
And now keeping your eyes closed, take in a deep breath. And exhale any limiting beliefs that come up to the surface to try to take the place of this affirmation. Letting go of the negative, reinforcing the positive. Inhaling strength. Exhaling weakness. As you continue to repeat this affirmation to yourself. Noticing the sensation of the breath in your body. The awareness of the beating of your heart. The comfort or the discomfort of following that affirmation. Just notice if it is uncomfortable and if there's anything you can do to make yourself a little bit more comfortable with it. Inhaling strength and exhaling weakness. Inhaling self-respect. Exhale, insecurity. Following the breath in, allowing the breath to release. Breathing in as you repeat your affirmation and letting the breath go. Imagining that affirmation sinking more deeply, more deeply into your soul. As you inhale confidence and exhale fear. Following that affirmation through your mind. Notice as it weaves through all of the places in the mind that tell you no. Allow your affirmation to tell you yes. Inhaling expansion as you breathe out constriction. So inhale gratitude and then exhale resentment. As you bring your focus back into that affirmation yet again, finding thanks and a smile for the awareness that there is positive and letting go of whatever negative you seem to find within. It's only an illusion. Allow yourself to see your shining soul. Allow yourself to see your heart. And breathe in appreciation. As you exhale, disdain. To breathe in your affirmation. Exhale, negativity. As you bring 
your affirmation into your heart with an inhale. Breathe out from the heart that feeling of not enough. Breathing in your affirmation. Breathe out its opposite. Breathe away all constrictions, any feelings of smallness or tightness, embarrassment or lack. Exhale them all. And as you inhale, notice the expansion in your chest, in your abdomen, in your belly. Allow that expansion to open your throat, open your heart opening the diaphragm until you feel full, lifted and light, expansive. Feel yourself floating like a balloon, moving over the landscape below. Complete in the knowledge that you are exactly as you are supposed to be, exactly as how you were designed to be. Perfect in yourself, right here and right now. Just breathe in and breathe out and feel the expansion within you, noticing that positive energy as it flows through you, allow it to grow within you with each breath that you take, and with each exhalation. You could let go of another negative perception that you have of yourself as you float higher and higher, feeling even lighter and free of stress, anxiety, or pain. As you reframe your character traits, you feel lighter and lighter as you float through the atmosphere like that balloon and observe your positive reflection. And as you visualize yourself floating higher and higher at peace and at ease, Begin to visualize all the bombers who share this meditation space with you today and also on future days. Visualize them floating right along with you. Those others that know and understand the challenges that we face. Recognizing that together we are strong and together we can become our best selves as we implement these tools for change in our lives and in the lives of those that we love. And then when you feel ready to do so, you can take a deep full breath in and gently let that breath go. Slowly bringing your focus back into the present moment. Moving your hands and your fingers, your toes and your feet, 
your legs and your arms, maybe letting your head roll from one side to the other. Stretching in any way that your body feels like it wants to stretch. When you're ready to do so, go ahead and open your eyes. And would you like to share anything about this meditation experience um, or anything else that it perhaps brought up for you? Just, just Okay. Thank you for joining this Principle 5 meditation today. And next week, we'll be meditating on Principle 6. Your primary task is to be a loving person. We'll be working on unconditional love for ourselves and others without enabling or people pleasing. And we'll do a loving kindness meditation for unconditional love. The recording of today's meditation will be available in the library within 48 hours. Bye-bye, everybody.